former minister Patali Champika Ranavaka was produced before the number four Colombo magistrates court this morning in connection with a near fatal hit and run case in 2016 where he is accused of attempting to flee the scene. The UNP parliamentarian is also accused of attempting to avoid culpability by producing another individual as the driver of the vehicle at the time. The victim, Sandeep Sampath, sustained near life threatening injuries from the collision between his motorcycle and the minister's SUV. When the case was taken up this morning, Colombo Additional Magistrate Kanchana Neranjana de Silva ordered the ex-minister to be released on a cash bail of 25,000 rupees and two personal sureties of 500,000 rupees each. The UNP MP is also expected to report to the Colombo Crimes Division on every first Sunday between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. Announcing the bail order, the Colombo Additional Magistrate stated that the arrest of the MP under the Public Property Act was done without the sanction of the Attorney General. The police department's reasoning for including the Public Property Act in its B report was that due to the minister's vehicle being state property, the government incurred a loss of 917,244 rupees. However, this was done without the Attorney General's approval. The magistrate stated that in this backdrop, there is no reason to deny the defendant bail. With the court having granted the CCD permission to question IGP Pooja Jayasundara, who is currently in remand custody on his involvement in the incident, the magistrate stated that there is no reason to believe that the defendant could interfere with witnesses. Deputy Solicitor General Dilip Apiris told court that the case remains more than a simple traffic accident and instead a case involving the machinations of politicians and civil servants to subvert the course of justice. He also revealed that the second accused in the case, Tusita Kumar, has been absent from his workplace since the commencement of the investigations. The court was also informed that another driver of the minister, named Pradeep Alvis, too remains absconding to avoid recording a statement. At this point, the minister's defence counsel attempted to produce the two drivers on the witness stand. Following this development, Deputy Solicitor General Pires inquired from the defence counsels as to the basis for producing driver Pradeep Alvis on the witness stand given that he hasn't been named a suspect. The additional magistrate then ordered the witness to be removed from the stand and remanded the second suspect, Tusita Kumara, until the 6th of January. Maxi's number one time in Sri Lanka.